Okay, guys, I've got a fifth wheel from Comfort. It's a big one, 35 feet. And I, uh, I got it as a salvage, so it was a good, smooth $50 buy. So for 50 bucks, this is what you can get. Actually doesn't look, believe it or not, that bad. Uh, except for all the pigeon shit everywhere. But um, in the front up here, it's not rotted out anywhere. Um, a little over the windows, but 100 bucks, it got abandoned. And if you'll call your local record companies, um, you can get one of these for 50, 100, 50 to 100 bucks. So it's not that hard to do. I paid $50 for the whole damn thing and $50 to have it towed out here on my property out here. So it comes with a whole bunch of nice stuff. It's actually got a very nice uh, stove in it, not too bad. I've done sold the converter out of it and the heater for over $250. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is putting its wheels back on. And um, the uh, RV is going to be stripped down to its frame, which is a very heavy six by two and a half frame. Um, and the frame is full quarter inch. And the generator has already been removed out of it. It had a generator right there. And, there's the, and the intake was right there for the generator. And it comes with a really nice gooseneck hitch. It needs paint, but it's in good shape. So we're gonna be unbolting this, moving it, and right here in the back of my bed, we're going to be making a plate that will eventually hook onto both sides of this old Winnebago one. So let's go to the video part where I'm gonna show you how I'm making this. Come on. fifth wheel that comes from that Winnebago, that 1973 Winnebago. If you want to see what that rare thing looks like, go in my older videos. And this is the original uh, fifth wheel assembly that came with it. And it's actually in the manual. It comes with it. Um, very rare. There's none of them that are even currently uh, currently on the uh, in the internet except for mine. I've got a little bit of plywood I use just for transferring. It's still sitting in the bed of my truck. And temporarily I'm going to attach a gooseneck plate in the middle here and then we're going to end up building it in as part of this framework now that's going to be later and you'll see it in another video i'm sure but it's so that i can remove the pins out of the uh out of the sides of this fifth wheel here the pivot points lift this out set it up back up in front of the bed of the truck and put a gooseneck in don't have to do nothing else and it'll actually all be part of this frame all right here when it gets permanently mounted in the truck so let's get over here where we're working with and we've got dear old number nine generator that we're going to be using down there to get this fifth wheel rescued so i've got my other generator my big dual fuel sitting out here and we're going to be using it to run the welder this 240 volt welder right here uh mig welder and what we have is we have a plate that was used for a fifth wheel once before and i drilled it out uh, to give it a shot but i didn't like the way it's set up so i've got me some very large two inch by five inch uh c channel and we're going to weld this onto this plate as soon as we clean up this original mount here and grind it all down make it pretty and we're going to take for temporary purposes drill some holes and just put a few wood screws into that big thick plywood that you've seen in the back of the truck and let's get this on here and i'll show you how well this 240 volt welder this mig runs on this dual fuel from champion and if you want to see how that works and how i've used it in the past you can look at some of my older videos also now i made myself a plug to be able to go into the generator and then have the plug over here that goes to my welder so that I'm able to use this plug right here, this one, and my generator handles it just fine, even though it pulls about probably 40 amps, it does a very good job of it. So let's get this going, and I'll get this cleaned up, tack welded, then we'll go from there. All right, now we got the generator ready, we got the power turned on to it, let's go ahead and fire it up, let it run for a second. Cord we made for it. 
50 amp, 240 volt. Get that plugged in. And that way we got on, full power, full power all the way. About six on the scale here. Make sure our wire comes out. All right. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and spot right here on that nut so that it stays and we don't lose it. Alright. Now the reason we did that is because we don't want it coming off of there and when this goes on, I don't really plan on removing it. And if I do, well I'll have to cut it loose, won't I? So, get centered up on my marks. Go ahead and get this thing welded in. Go ahead and spot. We'll go ahead and spot weld it right now, and then we'll weld it in. And I'll let you go for that. So, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and get all the spots put on it, and then I'll show it drilled out, and we'll lay it in the back of the truck next step. All right, let's go. All right, now we've got our long welds and some short tacks, and even some inside tacks going up inside as far as I could reach, as far as I could reach with the, the MIG, and I even went ahead and put some good heavy spots all the way around on the ball, because this is going to be permanent. Now we're going to be drilling this with holes in different locations so that it can be mounted temporarily, but we're going to eventually put angle going to both sides of that frame of this fifth wheel that you see in the beginning of the video. So let's go ahead and shut our gen set down. And kill the battery power there. All right, now the next move of course when that cools down over there is to mount it just with some wood screws like I did right there so that I can move a fifth wheel that's got a gooseneck and I'm going to mount it permanently into this frame so that I can remove that as I said earlier in the video I can take this out the part that came with the Winnebago I have in other videos it will be mounted permanently to its frame and I'm going to be taking all this old plastic bed out and redoing all the old bed liner that's 20 plus years old and we're going to have it to where it's going to be easily dropped in with cam lock pins that actually go in and when they tighten they suck it all down tightly and make it perfect for easy use so when y'all be seeing my shell back on here pretty soon and i'll be putting it back on but next time i'm putting it on with actual sliders so that i can just slide it straight off the rear instead of having that all that crap all over it so be watching and you get to see old number nine generator with about 3500 hours on it going out there to run the impact electric impact so let's go and get to that next step the fifth wheel plate painted up and all welded up and it's going to be sitting in here permanently once the wood's all removed and it's down to the metal bed again i'm actually going to do a diamond plate in this whole bed and it will literally be uh this will be set up to where it can be permanently mounted uh, or have permanent mount points and there is the fifth wheel that came with the winnebago and we're gonna go get the trailer now let's go get it got all our miscellaneous parts here including the little generator and the two rapid border collies so let's uh let's go make that roll all right, so we've got her hooked up. There she is, and it's just a couple of screws really holding it in there, but there's a lot of weight, and I had to move that up. It was about three bolt holes down for a much lower truck than mine, and generator worked good at three, <laughs> three 4,000 hour generator, and uh, we got the rest of it back to the truck. So let's get her going. Jacks her up, and we're gonna 
haul this crazy thing down to where it can be disassembled. So here we go. Let's get her down there. All right, so now it's over here next to the shop. And it looks good. A lot of people think it looks good, but it's it's going to be torn apart and turned into that trailer uh, that you see the short little clip of. Kind of a layout. It's not <laughs> exact. Um, so it's going to be turned into that. And this big 35 footer with 5,200 pound axles, a pair of them, is going to make a real nice finished project when we're done. And the comfort fifth wheel is going to be a food wheel. All right, y'all take care.